Part C is going to first start off with you summarizing what we've said. So on the first blank, um, on the previous slides, we talked about our even and odd degree polynomial behavior. You're going to summarize in words what it means and how it impacts. So as X goes to positive infinity and as X and X goes to negative infinity, what do you notice about f of x or the values? What in conclusion can be made based on what we just talked about in part B? What are conclusions that can be made? Summarizing what you pulled from that. Okay, also summarizing, how does the value of the leading coefficient affect the values as x goes to positive infinity and as x goes to negative infinity? All right, this is a checkpoint where we're summarizing our knowledge. While you do okay. okay. Who would like to volunteer what they summarize as they describe what's happening to a function? General thing that's taking place. Yeah. For polynomials, describing their their behavior based on their degree family, what's happening? Yes. Perfect. That's exactly what I needed to hear. So we are summarizing odd degree. That's not how you spell degree. I don't know what that um, was. Odd degree. The main thing is that they're going to have what kind of behavior? Opposite behavior. Opposite behaviors. And even degree you're going to have. Why can I? I just don't want to spell the word degree correct at all. Degree are going to have same behaviors. The left and the right are going to mimic each other. And what do we know about our leading coefficient? Okay, what how, what does it mean? Um, our A, our leading coefficient, what is our leading coefficient? Whatever we kept emphasizing, it helps us know what? That what is positive or negative? The right side. Okay, so our leading coefficient lets us know whether our our right in right in behavior, right? Right in behavior is positive or negative infinity, right? Okay, and then th from there that helps us determine. If my right's if I'm an odd degree, if my right is positive, that means that my left has to be the opposite, right? It has to be negative. If I'm an even degree and my right is positive, that means that my left has to be doing the same thing. Okay. So just summarizing, do we see it? Even though if you didn't write it down, do you still see that things to be true about what we've going on going over? Okay. All right. So putting all things that we know about polynomial functions together. Okay. We're going to use a calculator to create a sketch of the graph. Um, before we do that, we're going to talk about things that we can already identify from this graph. All right. Um, N is going to be describing our degree, our, our degree of our function, um, and its behavior. So before we get started, N is what? What's our degree? Three. So third degree which therefore makes it odd, right? Because it's odd, what do I know off the back should be happening? Opposite behaviors, right? Opposite, staying alive, okay? All right, then our leading coefficient, our a sub n, our leading coefficient, that's what this means, is what is your leading coefficient doing? Is our leading coefficient positive or negative? It's negative. Because our leading coefficient is negative, that means that we know our right-hand side is our right-hand side is negative. We know we end on 
We are going to end negatively, but we're going to start positively. What happens in between is going to happen in between. Okay, so before I even graph, I can describe my limit. Does that make sense? So our limit as x goes towards negative infinity, so as x goes to the left, what is our f of x doing? What is our, as x goes to the left, it's increasing. So therefore heading towards positive infinity, right? Our limit as x goes towards positive infinity. So as x goes to the right, what is our right-hand side doing? It's going to negative infinity. Okay, what is the max number of turning points I can have? We have a max of two. These are things you should be able to do without a calculator. Identify the degree, identify the leading coefficient, and describe the impact that's going to have on the behavior of my function. All right, so let's create our graph. So we're going to, I'll open the graph for y'all. You don't have to do it unless you just want to. Oh, Sylvie, she shut down on me. Come back. There she is. Look at her. Glorious. So I'm going to go to y equals, and we have negative x to the third plus 2x squared plus x plus 1. I'm going to hit graph. I'm going to watch Sylvie grow. It's a lot of it is majority of analyzing without a calculator. Like right now, this section is analyzing without a calculator. Yes, if it was like, what is your maximum? What is your minimum? But just showing that everything we we did, we did without a calculator, and did we do it correctly? Yes, we were correct. We see that because we're geniuses. Yeah, you can just sketch it. Degree minus one, exactly. Your max turning points is going to be your degree minus one. So when we look here, I'm just going to do a little sketchy sketch. It goes. We're geniuses. I knew it all along. All right. Again, we did. Did we use a calculator to get any of this information? No. No, we did not. We did not use the calculator. We just used the calculator to show that we are correct. All right. Okay. So you're going to do example number two. Go quickly. You have x to the fourth minus 3x cubed plus 2x. Do as much. Well, you should be able to analyze it without a calculator. So this is what you have to do. You have to do it. 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 You have to do what 
you know, oh, everyone mm -hmm. have these open. Yeah, it's our user. Yeah, no, yeah. no, yeah. no, not by. Uh, I'm doing yeah. it. Here we go. Here we go. So our in, what is our degree? Four. It's an even degree because it's even degree. We're either partying, waving our hands like we don't care. We're just moving side to side, right? All right. Um, our leading coefficient, our A sub N, what is our leading coefficient doing? It's gonna be positive. So therefore, we are waving our hands just like we don't care, right? Woo! Party, party. Okay, because of that, the limit as x goes to negative infinity. So as I go to the left, what is my f of x doing? It's going towards positive infinity. The limit as x goes to positive infinity. So as I go to the right, what is my function doing? Positive infinity. And my max number of turning points is? Okay, yes. So when you sketch it, based on what you're like, okay, I'm feeling pretty good. I must be a genius. Let me go look. I go pull, pull up the calculator, go to y equals, and we have x to the four. What is it? Minus 3x to the third plus 2x. Make sure you arrow over when you put in your, and we go to our graph. Sylvie, so you know, she takes her time. Yep, but she comes through. And bam. Were we correct? Were we geniuses? Looks like we were. Okay. Yay. Okay, so things to remember at the bottom. The graph has at most n minus one turning point. So your degree minus one is going to be your max number of turning points, correct? All right. And then um, when we're describing turning points is when we're saying, when does our function go from increasing to decreasing and vice versa? Okay. And then at most, n real zeros. So the number of zeros you have is based on your degree. So the max number of zeros I can have is four. In this case, do I have my max? Yeah. Yes, but am I going to always have the max? No. What's the word that prevents me from having max? Start with the M. Multiplicity. Remember, if you have a multiplicity, you either can be kissing. Remember, we touch the line. If it's an even multiplicity of two, or if it's an odd multiplicity of three, we have our quote unquote drive by. because it's accounting for those zeros twice. So when I'm kissing, that means this, this zero counts twice. Mm -hmm. So like, for example, if I had, I don't know why I chose yellow, who does that? If I went like this, I touched it. We're gonna pretend that I touched it. This right here and this right here, this counts as two zeros. And this is one zero. So this is a degree of three. Mm -hmm. Okay. Or whatever those values are, but yeah. You just don't write it twice. You state that it has a multiplicity of two. Okay. Good question. All right. But we feel we see that we can do all of this without a calculator, correct? You don't know if Albert or Hand. Well, I believe in them. All right. So um, this is a an example of describing using words. It says for the polynomial g of x as the limit x goes to negative infinity, g of x equals positive infinity, and the graph has an odd number of turning points. What can be concluded about the leading coefficient and the degree of g of x? Okay. So, hmm. Taking into account everything we know, first here it tells us that we have our limit. Our limit here. So as it goes to the left, g of x is going to positive infinity, right? So on the left-hand side, I am up, correct? All right. Then we know that it has an odd number of turning points. What can you conclude about the leading coefficient in the degree here? 
The degree is what? Why is the degree even? The degree point is, is odd. So that's minus one. So it would go plus one. It would be uh. There we go. All right. So in terms of the degree, remember your number of turning points is your degree minus one. So if my degree is, if my turning points are, is an odd number, that means my degree has to be a even number. Okay. Um. So how can I write this? If g of x has an odd number, that's the number, the pound symbol of turning points. I'm going to write TPs if you don't mind. Then the degree is even. Degree will be even. And why is the degree even? In plus one, exactly. It's going to be the invert, the reverse of it. Okay, then what do we know, therefore, about our leading coefficient? So on the left-hand side, we're going to pause infinity. So what does that mean about our leading coefficient? Our leading coefficient is positive. Why is our leading coefficient positive? There we go. Our leading coefficient will be positive. I don't know why I'm writing like a, a challenge kid today. I'm not winning at all. The challenge is real. It's like I forgot to write over the weekend. Um, we'll be positive. And that's because our degree is even and they're going to have same behaviors. Because degree is even. Even. And the limit as x goes to negative infinity is positive. I don't want to write as x goes to the left. So I just use the limit notation. You can write the words if you choose. This, I scribbled the word L-I-M. <laughs> this is limit. It's just an L-I-M. The G of X equals in infinity. All right. Again, this would be an example of a non-calculator situation, right? They would give you a description and without a calculator, you have to describe because it's based off of vocabulary. All right. Again, non-calculator, the polynomial P of X has the following char characteristic. The limit as X goes to negative infinity, P of X equals negative infinity. And the limit of P of X, as the limit as X goes to positive infinity, P of X equals infinity. Sketch a possible graph. So you're gonna sketch your own possible graph that fits the situation. What is a possible polynomial that would model this limit? So reading it, first off, I know, is this going to be odd or even? Yes. Is it odd or even? Why is it odd? Exactly. Odd because my limits have opposite behaviors, right? So we know that we have to create an odd function. Because the limit as I go to the left is negative infinity, and as I go to the right, it's positive infinity. Oh, but I thought this was x to negative infinity, negative infinity. This is telling me I'm going to the left. This tells me I go to the right. Yeah. That doesn't tell me what my what my arms are doing. It's just saying uh, you go, then you're going left, you know? All right. And then what is so we know we're an odd degree, then we gotta state our what is my leading coefficient? Is my leading coefficient going to be positive or negative? Why is it positive? There we go. Positive leading coefficient. 
So you're sketching something that's an odd degree with a positive leading coefficient. Yeah. All right. Did anyone draw anything exciting or you or you kept it basic? Kept it basic. Kept it basic. Did anyone do anything besides a cubic? No. Lines. Does that satisfy that? That's it. All right. Again, it's repetitive because all we care about is vocabulary, vocabulary, vocabulary. All right. So the function H is given by H of X. H of X equals 3X to the 6th minus 2X to the 4th plus 4X squared plus 10. What is my in behavior? And you're going to write it in limit notation. No. It was a canvas assignment for 1B.5. Oh, that was like last week. Mm -hmm. I really that was it. <laughs> All right, so you're writing in limit notation. What is my end behavior? Wait, no. you, and limit notation. There's four doors, the subs, what problem? It's like the guy's normal voice, and then whatever his fans is like 182 comes in, he's like, there's four doors, oh. at noise, oh. like Dr. Oh. Yeah. 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 You're I think you're the yeah. Uh, no, yeah. Yeah. That's the excuse. Well, that would be yeah. the so we're writing in limit notation. The limit that as X goes to blah 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 blah. H of X equals blah 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 blah. Oh yeah, I see something like Travis Barker. He's just a drummer, though. He broke it. I used to really like playing with the I've matured. Yeah, it's not that good. I have matured in front of me. But there's, it is, you know, part of me. Part of what really. All right. So on here again, um, off the back, what do we have? What's my degree? Six. So we know our degree is even. What's my leading coefficient? Positive. So what does that mean about my behaviors? We're waving our hands like we don't care, right? So we know that the left, they're going to be doing the same behavior. So writing in limit notation. The limit as x goes towards positive infinity, h of x equals in positive infinity. The limit 
as x goes towards negative infinity, h of x is also going to equal positive infinity. Agree? You wrote it in words instead of symbols. You just need to be comfortable reading it because it may be given to you like this. So limit as x goes to positive infinity, h of x equals positive infinity. Limit as x goes towards negative infinity, h of x equals positive infinity. All right, so going vice versa, it wants to write it as a limit. So on example number five, as x decreases without bound, p of x increases without bound. How can I write that as a limit? So x is decreasing. What does that mean? X is heading towards. X is decreasing. So x is heading towards what? Negative infinity. So take your, look at the words first. I know that x is increase, decreasing, so it's heading towards negative infinity. P of x, which means my y, is increasing. So therefore, it's heading towards positive infinity. Does that make sense? So now when I write it in terms of the limit, I have the limit as my x is going towards negative infinity. My y, which is called P of x, is heading towards positive infinity. All right, last part. Then the rest of the class you're working on your assignment is you're going to write it in reverse. If I give you the limit, can you write it in words? On the last one, yeah. We need to be able to read and, inter and interchange between the words and the symbols, the words and the symbols. I'm guessing as X decreases with the amount. There we go. There you go. There you go. Good job. You're a genius. He's a genius. So as Oscar said, as X increases, because X is going towards positive infinity, without bound, what is happening to, to T of X? T of X is, T of X decreases without bound. The most what? <laughs> Yes. All right, but we're good. Okay, that's 1B.6.